Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to Young Guys to Row. This is going to be a new spread that I developed for the Twin Flames. Divine Feminine be on this side, Divine Masculine be on this side, and this is whenever you happen to be um, drawn to watch this, this is when you meant to see it. So um, it has no timing on it. But we'll start out with the Divine Feminine to see what's going on. And put whichever way it resonates with you, whether you're a Divine Feminine, Divine, divine Masculine, you know, read it as it resonates. Okay, let's see. This is for the Divine Feminine. Okay. Wow. Look at that Scorpio energy coming right out there. Death card. So this represents Scorpio. Could be you, could be another Scorpio. Um, also represents transformation, endings, something new beginning, celebrating here. And also, we have Cancer energy. Something moving quickly in the Divine Feminine's life. Divine Feminine has gone through a serious transformation that is, they're very happy about. And by going through this tran transformation, it has um, put things in motion for something new to come in. And it's moving very quickly. Um, this could be an ending that brings in a new beginning. This also could be ending, um, it could be like a reunion too with the Divine Masculine. Now what's hidden here is the Queen of Pentacles. This Divine Feminine is doing quite well financially. It's very stable, very secure. Um, and I don't think everybody knows about that. Maybe the Divine Masculine doesn't know how good the Divine Feminine is doing at this time. But this is saying that she is doing well, she's happy. And right now her life is doing quite well. And she has transformed in some way or has an ending that's going to bring in a new beginning. And right now, currently, look at this. Hey, she's doing really well financially. Money's coming in. It could have been an inheritance. could have been um, a win, like a lottery win. Or just, you know, being very financially stable. Okay. Now let's see what's going on with my masculine. Okay, Divine Masculine is feeling left out, not included in something here. Maybe by the Divine Feminine. Um, and also, there could be an opportunity that um, the Divine Masculine doesn't want to take. Or maybe they're making an offer. Someone's making an offer to them and they're not sure if they wanted to take it. But there's something here where they're not... They're thinking about what they lost. They're thinking about... They're thinking about empty cups and they're saying, I don't know if I want this offer. But they do have the King of Pentacles, so they're doing quite well financially. They're very secure, stable. Um, this could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see what's hidden. Ooh, the ending of something. Oh, sorry. The ending of something. That's hidden. Wow, so something came to an end. It's weird. Divine Feminine has an ending for a new beginning. And also Divine Masculine ends some. Maybe you both ended relationships that now may come together. But this is not... Um, whatever this ending is, whether it's a job, a business, or um, a relationship, Divine Masculine keeping that hidden from people. Bottom of the deck we have, they put something in motion, they're waiting for something to come in. Could be something come back from whatever they, that ended here. Like if they lost their job or quit the job, it could be they're waiting for a new one to come in that they started uh, working on that. Okay, now, what's the Divine Feminine's thoughts about the Divine Masculine? Them that could be thinking that um, she'd like to communicate here. She'd like to get a message to the Divine Masculine. And um, this is a lot of happiness. Thoughts about a lot of happiness with the Divine uh, Masculine. But there also might have been competition or interference. I'm feeling <clears throat> for some it was heavy interference. People trying to keep you guys apart. And that was a serious problem. Because too many people are getting involved. Again, we have here money here. This this um, Divine Feminine is doing quite well. She's okay by herself. She doesn't need anyone to take care of her. She's doing uh, well financially, materially. Everything's great in that 
respect, but I don't think she has a love in her life that she would like right now. Okay, now, let's see what's going on. The Divine Masculine, thoughts about the Divine Feminine. Wow. He knows that Divine Feminine's doing well and doesn't need him or anyone else. But look at this, you both got the Ten of Cups. But the Divine Masculine is still hurting over this loss. There's a lot of pain here. And um, maybe knowing that he can't really help Divine Feminine in any way because she doesn't need anybody. And, you know, it doesn't set too well too. He almost feels like this, this Divine Masculine wants to be the one that saves the day. Maybe wants to be the one that comes in on his horse here and that I can help you, I can save you. But she's doing fine. But you both think each other brings each other a lot of happiness the ten of cups a happy family you would be great together you both have the same thoughts there and um also the high priestess divine masculine could see the divine feminine as a high priestess um that she's very intuitive and she has special gifts and there's also a mystery to her this divine masculine feels like this divine feminine is very mysterious um knows things that he doesn't know how she knows the things that she knows and really puzzling to him okay now whoop, that card wanted to pop out what's the feelings for the divine them for the divine masculine oh yeah she feels that he is um a good leader a good boss a, a very passionate um very creative she likes that angel now this could represent um uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Also, um, I think she dreams a lot about him, thinks about him, and also meditates on them, um, trying to find answers because she is the high priestess. Like he said, there's a very intuitive energy about this person now. I'm feeling I'm reading for it for the divine feminine. Um, but there's Pisces energy here is seeing things in new perspective. She goes within. She, she thinks of him as, wow, very, very attractive. She's very attracted to him. But she goes deep within and she meditates and she's seeing things differently. She's seeing things that are getting revealed to her when she goes into her meditation about this divine masculine. Seeing things totally different. And with the hangman, it's like waiting. She's waiting for something here. And then the bottom, page of cups. Now... She could either be waiting for an offer or apology from the Divine Masculine, or maybe she's um, thinking of apologizing or, or putting an offer to the Divine Masculine. Whichever way this goes, whoever feels that they need to come to the other. Um, but this could, the Page of Cups is messages. It's also something new something young could be younger someone would be younger too um, but it is the Scorpio Pisces cancer energy here okay now what is the divine masculine feelings for the divine feminine oh yeah the, this divine masculine would like to have this come back around with like with the judgment card it means to come something to come back around to um to talk oh now we got the death card yeah so this goes together with this an ending for a new beginning something has ended and the divine masculine would like to start a new something new transform transform this relationship but there's things hidden and um he's very emotional about this this divine masculine feels like he has a lot of emotions that he's trying to keep intact here because he doesn't want to he wouldn't want to go to the divine feminine and just totally lose it he's trying to gain control here now we also have we have the queen of cups here so this is a very nurturing loving energy this is the way the Divine Masculine feels about Divine Feminine feeling like she's very nurturing and this is another card this Queen is very intuitive there's a very intuitive energy on this Divine Feminine and this Masculine definitely feels it it feels like they connect and he doesn't understand it it's very confusing to him how they can have that connection 
Okay, so what action is the Divine Feminine going to take towards the Divine Masculine? Ooh. Okay, the Divine Feminine might shock the Divine Masculine. Maybe she'll show up at his doorstep. But there'll be some kind of shocking news or something that's going to happen that's going to be quite a surprise coming out of nowhere. And then we have, oh, might shock the divine masculine to know how much money this divine femme actually has. She She's hiding this over here, so there might be more money than, than um, they realize. But she is thinking of him, you know, coming back together. This is memories. So it really looks like this divine femme might really do something that's totally shocking. There's going to be some sort of surprise. Something's going to come out of the blue. And um, it looks like she might, she might make the move here. And we have the King of Swords. Okay, so this is an energy of someone being very intelligent um, and not putting up on anybody's bull. You know, has a lot of power, a lot of um, determination very strong person very strong energy now this could be either one i'm not really sure i'm reading it both ways i'm feeling some some of you guys it's going to be for the divine feminine having this very strong powerful energy and it could be for this divine masculine okay now what action is the divine masculine going to take to the divine feminine So Virgo energy. This divine masculine is trying to learn more, trying to go within. I think because of the energy that the, this divine feminine has, this divine masculine wants to know, wants to be more on her level because he realizes that she's very intuitive and it's um something he's trying to learn. With the the Virgo energy, someone goes within, he might be withdrawn from everybody else to focus on this divine feminine and bringing this relationship together he wants a new beginning that's the action he wants to take and yeah he's meditating too he's really going deep in thought um you know most might want to be coming towards her and asking her to go on vacation to um take some time off with him on the bottom we have justice he wants fairness this is libra energy and this could be Aquarius or Aries. This is Libra energy coming in wanting justice in this situation. He wants fairness. So if it wasn't fair before, he wants fairness. Now let's clarify. Why is this Queen of Pentacles here for the hidden energy for the Divine Feminine? Put these cards up there down again. Okay, let me do this. The Sun. Okay, so there's a lot of happiness here. Also, Leo energy. There's, um, this Divine Feminine is very happy about her, um, her material world, her, her finances. Okay, what about, um, this death card? Why is the death card here? Oh, Six of Cups. Yeah, so this really seems like this um, Divine Feminine would like to bring this back. This energy is memories. This is, um, you know, endings for new beginnings. So with the death card, something has ended. She wants to bring it back around. What about this Three of Cups? Okay. And wants to even give and take. Now, someone's given more in the last time and someone's taken... She'd be very happy if she's able to give to this situation and also have the Divine Masculine give back to. So it has to be a given, an even give and take. Because she has the resources. I'm not sure if he does. It looks like he does here. But it also looks like he's he's lost something. We'll see that when we clarify. But it might be the Divine Feminine in this situation might um, be more financially stable. And what about this um, chariot? Justice, yeah, coming forward, but want to see. This is like, there's two opposites here. Wants this to be fair. Wants this to be even. So, in order for this to work, she wants balance. And you know, the 
Divine Masculine has the Balance card there. He got the Justice card. So they both want the same thing. They want it to be equal. I don't think this relationship was equal before. One person took and one person um, kept on giving. Um, so then we have the King of Cups. There's a lot of love for this Divine Masculine. This came up on this card, this deck before, I think. Yeah, so she, um, her thoughts about him is either she sees him as very loving and carrying a lot of emotions or she just feels that for him, whichever way this resonates with you guys. Okay, now, why do we have the Ten of Swords here for the Divine Masculine for the Hidden Energy? Wow. Again, endings. It's, it's clarified with another ten of swords there might have been more than one ending there might have been a lot of things that are changing in divine masculine life there's endings that that this person is walking away from but when these endings come up these usually when you get the ten of swords this is completely done it's not like something that's come come back it could be there's a couple of different things that ended in the divine masculine life or it could just be really confirming that whatever this is that ended it is over it could have been a relationship that um maybe divine feminine didn't think that this divine masculine would leave but this is over whatever this is it's done okay now why do we have the five of pentacles here for divine masculine why is the five of pentacles here hmm. okay so there this person feels left out in the cold but it seems like there's an offer coming in so this could be that this divine masculine wants to make an offer wants to, maybe might want to bring a gift to the divine feminine or there's an offer coming towards them but this is the thoughts about um divine mask she he felt left out but she might have left him because maybe he wasn't contributing so now he might want to contribute so that's his thought like okay i'm gonna i'm gonna bring a gift i'm gonna do i'm gonna offer the divine feminine something here and this one is wow walking away from a burden whatever this was this offer this was a burden and divine masculine walked away from it so whichever way this resonates it feels like i mean maybe he made an offer this is going to be different different people um to divine feminine and she just walked away from it she said no this is a burden or it could be there's too many burdens and people are trying to get this divine masculine to do more and he just said no i'm not doing anymore i'm tired of doing all this to keep on wanting me to do more okay um so he might be walking away from too many burdens that he had and that might be why this is happening here that everybody put everything on him okay now this King of Pentacles, why is that here? Five of Cups. Okay. So, this Divine Masculine really thinks a lot about the Divine Feminine. And, um, it looks like he's doing well now, but he's thinking about the past. He maybe he's probably the one that didn't contribute. So he's thinking about that, and he's having regrets that he didn't do that. And he has the money. He has the means now. So he might be coming over and, and offering something because he does have the means. Look, he wants to nurture this situation. He wants to put the work in. That's his thoughts. He wants to put the work in now. He didn't do it in the past. And he regrets that he didn't do it in the past. Okay. Now, why is this Knight of Swords here? The Hermit. Okay. So this is the feelings. This is um, divine feminine feels that this um, divine masculine sort of um, went within a shell or something that sort of closed her off, and she wanted to help him. She wanted to go towards him, but he sort of just closed the door. He sort of said, "No, I, you know," and he just went into his little shell and pouted. And this one getting for someone here that. He just closed himself off or he or in for some cases maybe it's just he had to go find himself and she knows that she could feel it she could feel like he had he was uncomfortable with something in his life and he had to find him find himself he wasn't happy okay what about this ten of cups oh ace of swords so this is a new beginning something new coming in. it could be a job that's making someone real happy or 
um, some kind of offer coming in that is bringing a lot of happiness with the Ten of Cups. It's going to be a lot of happiness for the whole family, the whole situation. That's the feeling about this, that, that this would be a really good new start to start things over. Um, why do we have this five of wands here? Five, right? The high priest is coming in. Okay, there might be with the um this high this um high priestess here is saying that this divine feminine could feel the energy around this divine masculine of interference of people I think getting in his business and um trying to control things. And um here on the bottom of deck two of wands, she's waiting for something to change, something to shift. She could feel something changing. And she's waiting for that because she's very intuitive and she's very tapped into what's going on with the divine masculine. Even if she's not, hasn't seen or spoke to him, she could feel the energy. Okay, what about this nine of pentacles? Wow. Really, it looks like another, there's a lot of pain on the divine masculine side. And he's very hurt. Um, the way things didn't work out and he's very and I think he feels very bad that he wasn't able to in the past um, take care of the divine Benman. he did not put in the effort he breadcrumbed her and he regrets that king of cups a lot of emotions see he's very he's very trapped in his emotions he has a lot of emotions and sometimes it overwhelms him that is is so strong how much he cares about this divine feminine i don't think he had it with anybody else and this this one person here has just totally um turned him into mush okay um what about the ten of cups wow yeah this he really wants to work on bringing this ultimate happiness. You're both seeing the same things together. You be you can be really happy. Bottom of the deck, we have you, things have to balance. That's the whole thing. Things were not balanced in this relationship before, and divine masculine knows it. He might not have really realized it before. He might have been too selfish, but now he's realizing it, and it's like a big wake up call. And he's hurting over this. Okay, what about this? King of Wands here. Wow. Look at this. This how much passion this feel this divine feminine feels for this divine masculine. Um the way she sees him as um someone that's really is attractive, really um yeah, she's very um very attracted to him. And that's been a burden. She wants that to end. She doesn't um, want to feel trapped that way. And we have Queen of Swords. Yeah, so here she is going within, meditating, and really doing heavy thinking. When she meditates, she gets answers. And she realizes she might even have to, even though she cares about this divine masculine, um, if things aren't different, she's going to have to cut it off. It's like, if he has not changed, if he's more um, taken, not uh, given, she's, she can't be bothered. Even though she's really attracted to him and she wishes for the Ten of Cups with him. What about this um, hangman? Wow, the world. See, but she goes back and forth. She's, she could see... A reunion though but it has to be right like she's seeing things in a whole new perspective she knows that she's willing to give this a shot willing to have it come back around and re do a return because this is ending for something new being this is a lot of happiness but only if he will contribute he has to also put in the work she wants a partnership and she could see this returning and this happening but she won't tolerate being the one that does everything okay tower again a tower so this is gonna, might be shocking to the divine mass and maybe not but something's going to happen here to in order to have this new beginning or uh, a reunion that's going to come on the blue or somehow that something might just throw you guys together somehow but something's going to be really shocking it's going to be some kind of surprise please let me know if this resonates 
This is a very interesting read here. Okay, how about this judgment card? Why is a judgment card here? Ah, okay, now, High Priestess in Reverse. See, he really sees her as being very intuitive. It's really confusing to him because um, he's not understanding it. It's like, it doesn't, he's not as intuitive, he's more logical. And he doesn't really get into that, but he he knows he can't really. He's trying to trying to figure this out. There's a judge. This is with the judgment card, but he he can't. He just can't. He's not understanding. Okay, what about this death card? King of Swords. Now we have the King and Queen of Swords. So his feelings about her is like they're both on the same wavelength they, they're both very intelligent but they're both um it feels like they're both going to cut this out if it doesn't if it doesn't work out right it's like they're both love each other they both care about each other but, but they're both willing to cut out but they will make a good power couple here they're both very intelligent but he knows with this death card here that he has to do things right he has to come in with the truth because if he doesn't it will not go anywhere okay what about this moon card the hermit yeah he really is thinking a lot he's he's actually really putting himself by himself he's just cutting off the whole world here to try to get his emotions intact because I feel like this this one um it's not gonna be for everyone but this one masculine here or you know a couple maybe um is very emotional and there's things hidden that is really confusing to him so he's trying it almost feels like he's trying to learn how to be like her trying to learn to see what she sees and feels because he realized that she's tapped into the divine and he doesn't understand that and here look at their hierophant that is taurus energy that is like being tapped in there and trying to find this trying to find this spiritual connection trying to find a way to connect because he knows it's important in order to be with this divine feminine he can't be different from that because it won't work you can't be total opposite like that okay how about this tower why is the tower card here wow so whatever's happening here there's gonna be a celebration when this news comes out this shocking news whatever it is it's something to celebrate so the action that she's taken is going to be an action that's going to be surprising but it's going to be you're going to celebrate it okay now why is the ten of pentacles here okay she thinks a lot about um day and night she thinks about i think this the idea she this this divine feminine feels like she's very financially stable and she she thinks about that with this relationship she wants to make sure that they're together for the right reasons not that he's interested in her um, financial status because she's doing quite well so this worries her but she does dream about him and she does think about getting back together so she's torn she just want to make sure that it's equal. We got the equal give and take here. The bottom deck. Oh, chariot. Yeah, she wants to go towards the her divine masculine. This is a, a very fast move, or she wants this to happen quickly. Uh, it almost feels like um, she wants to have this over with already. Like either you guys get together or you don't. But this is Cancer energy. But she there's a lot of emotions here, and she thinks and she dreams about this that you guys can get together or. She could get together with the masculine. Okay. Why is the hermit card here? Yep. Yeah. This divine masculine puts something in motion. He's really trying really hard to get spiritually connected here. And he's waiting for something to happen now. And Queen of Cups. He does see this person as very nurturing, loving, and very intuitive, and he wants a new beginning with her. 
He wants this to work. Okay, this one flipped. Again, we have the moon card here. A lot of emotion, things are hidden. He's going deep within to try to figure out what's hidden and how he can um, make this work. But we have page, page of wands. Well, he's going to communicate with her. He's going to send a message somehow. Either it could be a letter, a call, a, a text, an email, or talk to a friend to say, Hey, I want to talk to the Divine Feminine. Can you get this done? Or whatever. Um, but yeah, he wants to start something new here. He's very anxious to start something new again. So you guys look like you're going to talk because you need to talk. It seems like that feels very pressing here. And you guys got to be on the same page. Because it does seem like Divine Feminine is doing quite well financially. The Divine Masculine is doing well, but not as well as Divine Feminine. So even if Divine Masculine can't contribute the same as financially, there's got to be a, a partnership, though, a real partnership. Well, I hope you guys like this reading. Please let me know if it does resonate. Please let me know if you want me to keep continue doing these. And um, please like, share, and subscribe to help me know um, how you guys feel about this. And I um, hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.